Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, to Pan in the adoration. Good morning. All of you are welcome. Today, let us spend one hour with him. Jesus asked the disciples, can you spend one hour with me? So let us be with Jesus this one hour with the intense prayer, thanking him and praising him. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment now. O sacrament go highly, O goodly sacrament. All love, praise, and thanks, I do. Say the truth, my God. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise, and all thanks, give me. Be a every moment, God. To me, we celebrate the feast of the most holy sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Also, the sacrament of the priesthood. Yes. Let's bring to the Lord all the priests in the world and the priesthood itself to thank Him. If Jesus is present now in the Eucharist, it's because of the consecration of the host and wine by a priest. As Padre Pio said, can you imagine the world without sun shining? So also it will be without the Holy Eucharist. Yes, we know every day about 500,000 Holy Masses are offered all over the world. And the light, the power, energy, of the Holy Eucharist is radiated on the whole humanity. Let us thank Him, praise Him in a particular way. But as sometimes we don't realize the power of it because we are having it every day. The only in the absence of it we feel. I see so many emails, watch up, how people are grieved because they cannot go to church to have a relation. They cannot go to church to have Mass. I'm sure many of you are feeling that. You are grieved in the heart. The Lord is looking at our heart. He knows that we love Him. We love Him in the most sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Yes, let's thank Jesus for having given this to us. If He has not instituted the Holy Eucharist, we would not have been with Him. We would not have been able to experience Emmanuel, God with us. Now we have it. I just read from Matthew the institution about the institution of the Lord's Supper. Matthew chapter 26, verse 26 onwards. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, set the blessing, broke it, and giving it to his disciples said, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which will be shed on behalf of many for the forgiveness of sins. Let's meditate on that. That's in spirit. And the cenacle where Jesus, after having washed the feet of the disciples, institute the Holy Eucharist. Let's imagine that we are around him, along with the disciples, to celebrate the institution of the Holy Eucharist and it being continued at every day on our altar with a gratitude, thanksgiving, let us be there. 
express our sentiments, love, sentiments of love, affection, etc. We think we pray to Lord Jesus for giving yourself to us in the state of humble bread as wine. We thank you, Lord, that you have <clears throat> resolved, that you have made the, the decision to be ours, to belong to us fully and completely. We thank you, we praise you, Jesus. We thank, thank you and we praise you, Jesus. Um, I thank you and we pray to Jesus for us not getting coronavirus. I thank you and we praise you, Jesus. I thank you and I praise you, Jesus. Lord, thank you for your physical presence. We can see you with our eyes. We can look at you. We can see that you are looking at us. We can touch you. We can taste you with our tongue. And we can eat you with our mouth. What a great privilege because of the Holy Eucharist. We thank you and we praise you, Jesus. We thank you and we praise you, Jesus. Blessing is being that God.
Praise for it, touch them on the test. We are here. Glory, Glory. we love you. Lord, you shall be all I hear and hear once. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the Lord. You are the living Lord. We thank you, praise you, Lord. Adore you, Lord. We magnify you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That all that is within me, Christ Jesus. Let all that is within me cry, Jesus, 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 Jesus is the Lamb that was slain. Let all that is within me cry Jesus let all that is within me cry Jesus 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 is the Lamb that was slain Jesus, I thank you for my priesthood, Lord. Seven years ago, you made me a priest. Lord, I joined my heart with all the priests all over the world, about 500,000 priests, who are ordained maybe today or recently. And those who are old, maybe 100 years old, Lord Jesus has joined my, my heart with them all. And with all the priests in heaven, glorify the priests. And thank you for the gift of priesthood. We thank you and we praise you, Jesus. We thank you thank and we praise, praise you, Jesus. Jesus.
Now I think I'm uh, basically the base on the video or not. <coughs> Whatever or however they are not. I ask you Lord to to sanctify your base, to make them holy, to keep them healthy away from dangers. <coughs> we pray to you, Lord. Lord God. Lord Jesus, we thank and we praise you, Lord, for our personal priesthood, for our priesthood as your children, for our priesthood as your body, the church. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the servants, the priests that you gave us to accompany us on the way to heaven, Lord Jesus, to accompany us and help us and enable us to do your business here on earth. Almighty Father, we pray that you bless the institution of priesthood that you bless the institution of celibacy, that you bless all deacons, that you bless the clergy, Lord, and that you allow the clergy privacy to accompany the church and live and thrive within the church for many centuries to come, Lord. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, Lord have God, have man. <laughs> But I praise you and I thank you for everyone that is healed already from the coronavirus. I thank you and praise you for your healing that flows through everyone every day. That we can claim it whenever we want and that it's free for everyone, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid for all of us. Thank you that we have life, healing, and life everlasting in you, Lord. We praise you and we thank you, Jesus. We praise you and thank you, Jesus. We really thank you for the priest who baptized. We thank you for the bishop who confirmed during the confirmation, or the priest or the abbot who confirmed. Thank you for the priest who heard our first confession, and all the priests who heard confessions in the past. Thank you, Lord, for the priest or bishop who gave Holy Communion in the past especially the one who gave the first communion. Lord, thank you for the priest who blessed the marriage. Thank you, Lord, for the priest who baptized children, grandchildren, everyone at home. Lord, thank you for the priest who came to anoint when we were sick. Thank you, Lord, for the priest who came to console, to give comforting words, comforting presence, comforting words. Thank you for the priest who preached the word of God, the gospel, and celebrated Mass for us. Lord, thank you for the innumerable blessings we receive through the priest. For a moment, each one of us, thank God personally for the priest from whom you received the sacraments and thank him, praise him, the Lord who was behind that priest. But as the priest died, pray for his soul. If you like, pray that he may be sanctified. We thank you and we praise thank you, you, Jesus. We thank you and we praise you. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, very especially want to thank and praise you, Lord, for Father James and the MSFS. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of souls that have been saved from the ministry of Father James, Lord Jesus. We thank you and we praise you, Lord Jesus, for all the people that have come to conversion, for all the marriages that were saved, for all the families that were founded, Lord, like my own. My family was founded through, through the ministry of Father James. Yes, Lord, <clears throat> we thank you, Lord, that you have given us such a great priest like Father James in our lives, in our present times, Lord. We pray that you bless him, Lord Jesus, that you heal him, Lord, that you strengthen him, Lord, and that you empower him to have many more decades of ministry, Lord Jesus, that he may be a blessing so many, many more thousands and millions of people. In this moment, Lord Jesus, we also bring to you priests like Father Joy, Father Gigi, Father Dijo, Father Abraham, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, you see all the troubles that they have. You see, Lord, 
you see all the troubles that they have, you see the challenges that they're facing in their ministries. We bring to you Father Florian, Father Ludwig Maria. We bring to you Father Bernard in Heiligen Kreuz. We bring them, we bring them to you, Lord Jesus, and, and we pray, Lord Jesus, that you anoint their ministries, Lord Jesus, that you let them grow closer and closer to you that you let them grow in faith and grow in spirit and grow in wisdom and power, much as your son grew in wisdom and power. Yes, Lord Jesus, bless our priests and make them anointed vessels and signs of your kingdom, Lord. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we thank you and praise you for the deacons who are associated with the priest. Hallelujah. And praise has been the priest hallelujah. in their service, Lord. Thank you for the ordination you are given to the deacons, especially we present you, a good Christian, and all other deacons who are serving holy masses in other places too. I cannot remember their names, Lord. But I see them in mind. I thank you and praise you for the service of the deacons and their, their, their diaconates. We praise you and thank you, Jesus. We praise you. We thank you. We pray for all. We pray and thank you for all the priests in other countries, like Father Andreas and Father Marek. Hallelujah. Like uh, Father uh, Benhart. All the priests are already passed away, like Father Paul. Lord, <clears throat> all uh, oh, Father uh, Jose in, in Spain, Cheslav. Father Cheslav in Belarus, so many places, Lord, that we know in other countries, Lord, bless all of them, make them holy, Lord, and thank you for their ministry, for whatever they, they do, for the exorcisms, for the deliverances, for the prayers of healing, and for, the, for their preaching. We thank you and we bless you, Jesus. We thank you, and we praise you, Jesus. God, thank you, and we praise you, Jesus, for all the, of these these things that you have gave given us and created for all the albums and for all the people that you created, and that you may protect them, and if they get sick, for, and die, protect their sins, and bring them up to heaven. Thank you, and we praise you. We thank, we thank you, you and we praise you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, if there wouldn't be any priests, there wouldn't be any church, Lord. Yes, Lord. <clears throat> the church was kept alive by, by all those brave men who decided to give up a family life, to give up everything, worldly pleasures, worldly desires, a career, a profession, a job, standing in society. They decided to give up everything, Lord Jesus, to live a life of celibacy, of poverty, of chastity and obedience, Lord. Yes, Lord. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will grant the spirit of priesthood in our midst, Lord Jesus, in our families, Lord, and that you may cause many vocations from within our ranks, from within our roles, Lord Jesus, from within our families. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you call all of our children to be priests or religious sisters, Lord Jesus, that they may embark on this great and magnificent adventure of what it means to live a life for the sake of heaven. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, Lord our prayer. God the Father, hear our prayer. prayer. Oh. Hear this God and shine. Oh. Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. Mercy oh. on your people. Oh. Lord, I thank you for the royal priesthood. That is the priesthood every Christian has in baptism. If that was not there, there would not have been the priesthood of seven groups. Yes, Lord, it's a great priesthood that you are showering on everyone who accepts Jesus as Lord and to see the Holy Spirit. Today, let the Christians, especially Catholics, be convinced of the priesthood that they have by baptism and their privilege to celebrate it every day by going daily to Holy Mass and receiving the body and bread of Christ and thus renewing the royal priesthood, the power of the royal priesthood. And Lord Jesus, gratefully I remember the royal priest in families, it is because of them that there are priests who are serving. The servant priesthood comes from families. I thank you for my family from where you called me. Praise Lord, all the families 
from where you call the priests or deacons or bishops or pope, or come from my family. As your chief pray now, I pray that there may be many vocations to preach to from each family, now attending especially this adoration. Hallelujah. And I pray especially the family where I'm staying for many years now. I pray that children be called to preach to from family of Janine and Richie. Lord Jesus, yes, let them understand the greatness of priesthood, greatness of celibacy, greatness of power of prayer, sacraments. Oh, my Jesus, yes, there is darkness in Europe because of lack of priesthood. Darkness in South America and many other places like your priest. Yes, we know no daily masses in many churches and people have to go around for daily mass. Yes, in the past we had many priests. We pray that you call many young people to preach to. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, I pray for all those people, uh, or young boys and girls who have the vocation for religious life, Lord. Especially me, that you may help me to um, to realize um, my vocation more to become a priest, Lord, and that you may make me a priest, Lord. Here. Yeah. Lord, hear our prayer. God the Father, hear our prayer. Hear us go to shine. Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. Mercy on your people. Lord, I ask you pardon now for the sins of priests. I take the sins of all the priests in the world. Yes, Lord, I have scandalized others. I sin, Lord. Ask your pardon, Lord. I did not leave my priesthood as I should have lived. I did not project holiness on others. I did not radiate holiness on others. My talks, my behavior with others were wrong. We did not live as you expected me to live. Lord, forgive me. Pardon me. Sanctify me. Make me holy. I pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord yeah, yeah. For a moment, closing the eyes, pray for all those priests, perhaps living in sin, darkness, not realizing the greatness of the priesthood. Pray for them. Ask pardon for their sins. Yes, take their sins, our own sins, and ask pardon. They served, they left the home came to serve us, let's forgive our servants. We are your servants, my dear lady people. Forgive us, servants. God the Father, hear our prayer. Hear us, Lord the Son. Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. Mercy on your people, Lord. <laughs> Lord, we ask you to repair the scandal given by the clergy, by teaching, by behavior, by their manners. Lord, repair it, especially during this time, by sanctifying the priest, bishop, pope, and thus to them the lay people be sanctified that they may celebrate the sacraments with the convictions, with the faith. Oh Lord Jesus, we pray during this time of uh, remaining at home alone, pray more. Let all the priests, bishops and Pope think of the sanctity of their priesthood and repair where they need to repair and that the church may be repaired in sanctity. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. So we pray for all those who are deprived of attending Holy Mass directly, receiving Holy Communion directly, or going to a priest for confession directly, and many are suffering in the heart. We see that. We, you, we pray that they may be consoled by the spiritual communion. 
and attending mass perhaps through online, or just sitting down and thinking of the passion of Jesus, institution of the Holy Eucharist, and thus receiving communion spiritually and to be with the Lord. After all, Lord, you institute the Eucharist to be with us. Give that experience to all those who are deprived of going to church, going to attend the sacramental liturgy. Oh Lord Jesus, also enable each one to confess sin directly to God and find your forgiveness and mercy. Console them, Lord. Console them, Lord. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord, I pray for all the people who are sick and who have to stay, stay in their wounds until they're healed. And I also pray for Anna, Lydia, Ima, and Tim that they will not scratch and that they will not get hold and that they will be okay because you're not. No. Lord, your prayer. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, we pray for missionary priests all over the world. They're traveling a lot. They go around preaching, helping the poor. They're exposed to dangers in many places. I know my own country, India, how missionaries are attacked, even killed. In African side also, we see many missionaries are killed. Lord Jesus, from the West, from European countries, Many missionaries are working in Africa, India, and other Asian countries. Protect them, Lord Jesus. For so many Indian missionaries are all over the world. Protect them, Lord, in their service, in their ministry. Keep those priests who are scattered here and there, but working, exposing themselves to danger, Lord. There are a few priests working for direct evangelization among the Muslims, I know. Lord Jesus, in a very special way, we protect the ministry of life. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord yeah. Yeah. Lord, we thank you and praise you that you are answering our prayers. You are with us now. Oh Jesus, you are great. Powerful presence. So hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noon time. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him when the sun goes down. Thank him. Thank him, thank him in the morning, thank him in the noon time. Thank him, thank him, thank him when the sun goes down. Thank him, thank him, thank him in the morning, thank him in the noon time. Thank him, thank him. Look to the body of Jesus in the Eucharist. See to his body. 
There is the crucified Lord. There is the risen Lord. There in the holy sacrament is the fullness of God. There is no part of him that he wouldn't want to give to you. There in the holy Eucharist is the full gospel. There he is, as a child born in Bethlehem. There he is on the way to Egypt with his mother. Lord Jesus, even in the mother's womb, there he is in the Eucharist. The Holy Eucharist is the same Jesus child that was in the womb of Mary. When the angel spoke the word and the Holy Spirit came upon her. It's the same Jesus that answered the questions of the, of the wise men and of the Pharisees and scribes in the temple. It's the same Jesus that was baptized in the river Jordan, the same Jesus that was in the desert and resisted temptations because he loves you so that you may be able to resist temptations. It's the same Jesus that turned water into wine maybe the water of your suffering into the wine of his joy. The same Jesus who walked over the waters, commanded the winds, healed the sick, raised the dead, set captives free. Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus of Galilee. He is here before you now in the Holy Sacrament. Thank you, Lord. Give yourself to him. Bring him your life, your defects, your sins, your wounds, your worries. Thousands of men, thousands of priests died throughout the history of the church that you may be able to adore this sacrament today, that you may be able to encounter Jesus, that we may be able to encounter Jesus now in the bread and in the wine. He is the Lamb. The Lamb is worthy. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb that you give yourself, your family, your entire life, everything you are to Him. Lord Jesus, right now we make the decision to give ourselves fully to You because You are the Lamb of God. We thank you. We praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy, 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 holy is the Lamb that was slain. Jesus, ask your pardon for the time. Priest celebrated March with the sin. People receive the body and death with the sin. That's incurring condemnation. Ask your pardon for all unholy marches offered, unholy communion received. And you have said it. Because of that, many are ill, many are infirm, and many died. Lord Jesus, we ask your pardon for the sins of sacrilege. Committed personally by people, by priests. Ask your pardon in many some places. The tabernacles are broken and a second host are stolen by Satanists or Freemasons and enemies, Lord. They have insulted your body and death by stampeding, burning, or spitting upon, kicking. And saying that you are not present there. Ask your pardon for such sins committed by our brothers and sisters. Maybe out of ignorance. Maybe out of malice. Lord, forgive. Forgive, Lord. Yes, Lord. We ask your pardon for all the sins 
people are committed against you are born bad in the holy Eucharist. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. God the Father, hear our prayer. prayer. Hear the story of Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. Mercy on your people. Many people, all the humanity wants to be loved, Lord, and they don't need this love to accompany them, Lord. Show your love, Lord. Manifest your love to every single one of us. Manifest your love to the children, to the people that are alone now in their homes, and they don't know what to do. Manifest your love to all the married couples that maybe they are having fights that they don't know what they are fighting for. <coughs> Manifest your love to the sick people, and now maybe they are with corona, with other sicknesses. Manifest your love to the orphans, to the widows, to the people in jail, to every single one of the people, of the persons in the whole earth. Manifest your love that they will see, that they will experience your love, and that they will see that you are love. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Yes, Lord, you are manifesting your love in the Holy Eucharist. In many Eucharistic miracles, all in all the Eucharistic miracles, we know when the scientists examined the body, they found it was not just body or flesh, but the flesh of the heart of a man dying in agony. Oh, my Jesus, you are looking at your heart, heartish love. Thank you for the great love. They are manifesting in the Holy Eucharist to all of us. Let us sing God's love show. instituted this great sacrament and to be with us, to be with us always, to give your own body and blood for us to eat and to drink. 
No, not just your body, but your heart. So that we may live in you with the love. But surely we are not love you enough. You loved us to the extent of giving your heart to us. But we are not loved with our heart. Hallelujah. Surely no. We not break our heart. We not break our heart to keep the commandment. We did not take the faith, suffering to keep the commandment. We do not die to ourselves, our selfishness, our ego, Lord Jesus. If only we break our ego, we can cut ourselves. Then only we will be wounded, Lord. You suffered, suffered wounds and illness. It was not easy to cut the heart and give us. Yeah, every day you are doing it on the altar. But we see that. But we are not doing it now. Enable us to cut and love you, Lord. Cut our heart and love others, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Praise you. Love us too. Science. To love the wife, love the husband, love the children, love the parents, love the neighbors, colleagues, Hallelujah. everyone. Hallelujah. By cutting ourselves. Yes, Lord. Sometimes we are reluctant because we love ourselves. We don't want to break ourselves. We don't want to surrender ourselves, Lord Jesus. Help us with your Holy Spirit and to cut ourselves and break ourselves at every mass you are telling, break yourself and give yourself to others. Yes, God. But we don't obey that. We don't do that. Surely, Lord. Surely for our self love, selfish and ego. Jesus, forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. We are human. But we are not acting at Jesus, Lord. No, no, no. We are sorry for our sins of selfishness, and egoism. And Help us to be more charitable, more loving, God. Taking effort and pain to go to Holy Mass of the day. Taking the pain to spend money for that for petrol or diesel, Lord. Taking pain to go to adoration and spend some time in the church. Praying for our own self. In intentions and others' intentions. Lord Jesus, help us to take the trouble to attend the Mass adoration. And also, Lord, that's to express our love, maybe by fasting, abstinence, mortifications, and also sparing money to help others, Lord. Charity, Lord. Oh, my Jesus, help us to sacrifice our comfort, our love for ourselves, our luxuries, or money spending for ourselves for the sake of the poor, and thus enable us to cut ourselves, break ourselves for others. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God the Father, hear our prayer. Hear the God the Son, Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. Mercy on your people, Lord. Lord Jesus, we have the news. In Europe, the coronavirus is uh, almost getting controlled. But in America, it is much widespread, many more people died. Lord Jesus, whether in America or uh, Russia or Africa or in uh, Australia, they are all our brothers and sisters. We feel with them, Lord. So we bring all those who are affected by this virus. And Jesus, those other people who are sick, Lord. With the various kinds of illness, Hallelujah. attacked Hallelujah. by bacteria or other viruses, Hallelujah. maybe chicken pox, maybe fever, uh, maybe grippe or lung diseases like pneumonia, or people with uh, cancer or paralyzed, or people with uh, multiple cirrhosis, people with uh, rheumatic problem, pain, take their sufferings with your pain, and Lord Jesus. Right now, give them grace to suffer with you. And if it is your will, heal them, Lord. Hallelujah. Right now, Jesus, you are alive with us. You go around as you went around in Galilee, Jerusalem, to touch the people and heal. Go around to all the five continents now, to all the countries, and to all the people who are sick. Touch them, heal them. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Even more, Lord, <coughs> you heal the <coughs> employee of the centurion at the distance, Lord, and many other people. Now we are asking you, Lord, at the distance to heal everybody that has with sicknesses and affected. 
We pray to you, Lord. Lord, you are prayer. Let us sing Nisha Shishanash. Give her shoes as a sign. to the living presence of Jesus and today we'll spend more time with the Lord in spirit and truth let us be with the Lord in the cenacle where he instituted the Holy Eucharist let's spend more time and in our prayer go to Gethsemane 
where he prayed by shooting the blood. He prayed for us. He prayed for the world. Believe it. In spirit, join with that prayer. And to see all the blessings on us, on our family, and the whole world. The mystery of the life of Jesus continues today. And let's ask pardon not only for our own sins and the sins of others. Asking God's mercy. It's good to say across the rain, the chaplet of the divine mercy, etc. And evening we have the Holy Mass, Mass of the Last Supper at uh, six o'clock evening. And we shall meet there and pray together. Now let us bow before him, ask for his blessing. Lord Jesus, we come, we offer ourselves, surrender ourselves, kneel before you for your blessing, Lord. Shower that blessing upon us, upon all those who are with us in this adoration. And shower that blessing is upon all our near and dear ones in various countries. Shower that blessing upon every family and our family. Lord, shower your blessings upon the sick people, especially those who are affected or inflicted or patients suffering with the coronavirus and with the cancer or other diseases. There'll be a time, Lord, your blessing flow to everyone. That the blessings of your body and that reach out to all who need. May that reach out to the pagans, people who don't believe in you, Lord Jesus. That there will be many conversions today, we pray. Now bless us, Lord. Let us sing, bless me, Jesus. 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 Yum, yum, Thank you, we were able to be with you one hour as you asked us to pray. Ask for indulgence, which I promise. Right now, we say, when our Father, one Holy Mary, one glory be for the intention of the Holy Father, that we may have this indulgence. We offer it for anyone who deserves it. Maybe souls in purgatory, maybe the conversion of a sinner in the world. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And he us not the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, women, and blessed is the food of you, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, this now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. So have a good day. God bless this day. Celebrate the Holy Thursday, Monday's Thursday. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, from my heart. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, from my heart. Praise you, praise you, Jesus. Praise you, praise you, Jesus. Praise you, praise you, Jesus.